Are you taking care of your filament? Wet filament can make or break a good print. I see it all the time. People are posting pictures of failed prints wondering what went wrong. Most of the time, damp filament. Dampness in your filament can break down the polymer chains, making it weak and reducing the flexibility. It breaks like raw spaghetti, causes air bubbles that lead to stringing and blobbing in your prints, and it leaves an appearance of major under-extruding. I'm going to show you what I do to take care of my filament. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay does more than printed circuit boards and assemblies. Perhaps you have a project requiring 3D printing, but you don't have a 3D printer. PCBWay can help with that. Simply drag and drop your CAD file onto their Easy Quote page, select your preferred material type, the color, and the amount of infill. Click on the Submit Request and get a lightning fast quote. While you're on their website, check out their six project design contests with categories for both electronic and mechanical projects. Maybe consider entering the project you're working on right now. Professional or hobbyist, PCB Way has you covered. How do you know if your filament is damp? It doesn't feel damp. Well, like I said, a good sign is that it's brittle and it breaks easy. The filament can also get a cloudy look to it. A popping sound coming from your extruder is another hint that your filament is damp. That popping sound is actually water in the filament boiling and evaporating as it passes through the hot end. Okay, so how do we dry our filament and keep it dry? Well, you could always get a filament dryer from any number of places. They're made specifically for drying filament and hold at least one spool. A lot of people prefer them because they can run the spool directly from the dryer to your printer. Now, some people will dry it in their oven. If you're doing this, make sure you keep a low oven temperature. My oven doesn't go that low. Now, while many people say it's fine, I never recommend this method. It's a fire hazard, and in my opinion, I don't believe in putting anything plastic of any kind into an appliance that's going to cook my dinner. Plastic can lead to toxins. If you've ever thrown an empty plastic bottle into a campfire, well, then you've seen that black smoke. It's not good for you. Some people will just use their heated print bed for drying filament. Me, I like to use this. A food dehydrator. I got this on Amazon a few years ago for the sole purpose of drying filament. You can still get these for under $35. Now, we didn't have filament dry boxes back when I started. You have to remember, I'm talking about the days when you walk through three feet of snow every day to get to school, and it was uphill both ways. I stick with this method because it works. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I can dry three spools at a time. All I had to do was cut out the center of the food trays, Set the temperature for the filament I'm drawing and let it go for the right amount of time. I'll also throw the decadent packs that came with the filament to the dryer and when I store the filament. So, what are those temperatures? Well, for PLA, I'll go 45, 40 to 45 degrees. Uh, TPU, I'll do about the same 40 to 50 degrees. Pet G, I'll do 60 to 65. Um, ASA 80 to 85 and nylon, I believe I go 85 to 90. Now, how long do you want to do this for? Well, I usually go about four to six hours. Um, well, actually, that's if it's a half spool or less. Um, I usually go six to eight hours for a full spool. Don't go overboard, too much heat is not good for it either. I don't think I've ever gone longer than 12 hours. If you get your dryer box, the manufacturer will almost always include a chart indicating the times and temperature to use their product. All right, moving on. So storage. Some filaments will come with a reusable bag to store the filament in. Some don't. Either way, I somehow always manage to destroy the bag so I've been using Ziploc food storage bags. And then I'll store those bags into 
a plastic storage container like this one. I grabbed this on Amazon. Now I picked this type because it has a storage seal on top right up in here that'll help keep dampness out as well. I have a few of these and they work great for me. I'll throw in a few silica packs in there with the filament and I'm good to go. I can fit 18 spools in a 60 quart container. This is a 60 quart. They do have bigger ones, they do have smaller ones. That out of the way. So 60 quart container. Um, am I overdoing it? Maybe, probably. But I'm gonna go a step further. When we buy filament, it, it arrives in a vacuum sealed bag. If it isn't, you might want to consider switching brands. So I always thought, why not dry it, then vacuum pack it? And no, not with the food vacuum pack system. That would just crush the spool, especially cardboard. But I found this filament vacuum storage kit on the Creality website, and I thought for $25, let's try it. It's a small vacuum. Um, you charge it through a USB port. Let's see what's in the box here. So we have some decadent packs. Comes with those. We have a charger cable. Sealable uh, bags. Counting five there. Oh, four, six. Eight vacuum storage bags. We have assorted needles and what looks to be the head for the pump. Okay, we have all that. And we have the pump itself. Kind of small. Let's get that out of the way. And what we do from here, take a bag. Put your filament in. Take the vacuum. Press the vacuum head on it. Seal the bag. They are Ziploc and it comes with these cool little sealers. Unscrew the cap. And take the vacuum. Do that on. Turn it on. On off switch is at the top. And we'll go with that. That did pretty good. I like it. I feel good about using this to store my filament. Normally I would have thrown a decadent pack in there. So what it comes down to, take care of your filament, your filament will take care of you. I hope you found the information in this video useful. If you did, let me know down below in the comments and hit that like button. Smash that bell so you'll be alerted to notifications of new content in the future. Live your life one layer at a time, and if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe.